What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing another wash and go combo that a subscriber has suggested. And this one is featuring the Obia Naturals Curl Enhancing Custard, which you guys know that I love. And then we're going to top it with the Eco Super Olive 10 times Moisturizing Gel. So, I've never used this gel before, so it's going to be my first time. It does say that it repairs, conditions, defines, moisturizes, smooths, and shines, and it's alcohol-free. I will say that I hope it is moisturizing because this Obia custard has um, a pretty good hold on its own. So topping it with this, I thought may be a little much, but she says she likes it, and but she lives in a humid climate she said so she needs as much hold as she can get so we're gonna see the gel has very much of a cologne scent to me um and it is pearl pearlized a little bit so it has a little pearlesque look to it but it is green. And then for my leave-in, she suggested the Sotanicals Frizz Wiz Curl Defining Leave-In. So, I did put this in my hair already um, after I rinsed out my deep conditioner. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. So, let me grab some clips. clip my hair up. I usually come with it clipped up, but what I had been doing was coming up here with my hair clipped up and next thing I know, I didn't have any clips downstairs. So I wanted to leave the clips I had in my hair downstairs and then just use the ones that I had up here. So, okay. Hair is clipped away. So let me go ahead and open this custard and I've used this before it looks like that so it is a white cream type consistency but it does have some hold to it so it is between a cream and a gel that is why it is a custard and I like it so yeah let's go get started let's get started I had to change the camera uh, the battery real quick so okay so we're gonna start in the back and that's my hair with just the frizz whiz normally when I add two things like this I think I normally will put the custard all over then come back and do the gel um, and I might switch to that, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do them back to back and see how I like it. So I'm applying the custard. And as you can see, it already defines pretty well. But let me go ahead and add some of this gel. it on top and see what happens that clump just a little bit more it does seem like it is mixing well so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing it like I'm doing it and I'm gonna try to get through this without having to add any water I don't know if I'll be able to or not but we're gonna see my ends are already getting a little bit dry. So this is the custard. And it does quite, it does uh, clump your hair and it does, at least my hair, it clumps it very well and it does um, define it. So this gel on top is just adding to it. So I just added the gel. 
So we're gonna see how that works. I hope that the Frizz Wiz is moisturizing enough to handle these two together because both of them, well, I don't know if this 10 times is a strong hold or not. It says it's supposed to be a hold of a 10, so I would expect that it's a strong hold, but I've never used it. But I know that the Obia is a strong hold and needs to have a good moisturizer under it. So we're gonna see about these together, okay? Going into the gel. And I'm rubbing it between my hands first and then smoothing and raking it down my strands. Pumping very well. So far, so good. This might be a nice wash and go. We're gonna see. I hope it's nice and shiny. The OBA uh, custard does give a pretty good shine to the hair, um, and most ecos do. So hopefully, this will be nice, shiny, healthy looking wash and go. Going into the gel. I just hope it doesn't take forever to dry. That's what I'm thinking. Put a little bit on my roots. Hoping that it doesn't take forever to dry because it already takes my hair a long time to dry. I'm under the dryer at least an hour, if not longer. And then sometimes these sides are still wet, which I've said on numerous occasions and I have to go in with a diffuser because at that point I am just like, tired, hot, want to get out from under it, cheeks flushed, neck red. It's like, oh my gosh. And for those of you who say, well, pin your hair up on the side and let it get it. I do do that. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's hard to do because, well, I could lift my dryer higher. I was going to say because the clips try fitting under the dryer causes it to hit the top of the dryer and I could lift it up, but I feel like the closer it is to my hair, the quicker it's gonna dry. That's just me, that's how I feel. But anyway, um, I don't have a problem just diffusing those two little areas. So this is the first section. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing around my head and you guys can watch. Don't talk about it like you're crazy. You know damn well I can't replace you. Just say what? Say what you mean, don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need to do. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. The way you look at me is absent. It's like you're walking through a labyrinth. Just say what, what's going on? Don't waste your time being all alone. Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean. And you'll get Get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only because it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you
Okay guys, I am done applying the two products. I still have some custard left. And um, I still have a lot of the green gel left. I will say that when I put this gel on top of the custard, it added another layer of slip. The custard already has some slip to it, but then that added another layer of slip, so it felt really good going on my hair um we're gonna see how it works my hair did start to dry out a little bit on the ends and on this part up top so i did add a little bit of um, water so um yeah we're gonna see how it looks i do see a little a little frizz up here but that's not uncommon for me it looks like it is going to blend well together so we will see i'm going to sit under my hooded dryer is am i bright am i washed out i don't know my lighting i got to get it together um but anyway so i'm going to sit under my hooded dryer and Hopefully it will all soak in and not flake. I will be back to show you the results, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back and this is my hair. I did stretch it a little bit. I will say that the hold from these two, there is a hold, but it is not bad. I've had harder holds, so this is somewhat moisturizing. They work well together. I will say that my hair feels, um, I mean, there's a hold, but it is very movable as you can see, and it does feel um, pretty soft. So, and it feels moisturized at this point. So the Frizz Wiz so far has done what it is supposed to do as well. So yeah, this is my hair. Like I said, I did stretch it, but as you can see, I still have a lot of definition. Very little bit of frizz. I do see a little bit of dusting, it seems like, when I, um, I'm in front of the window too, so I don't know if it's coming from my hair. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it seems like I see a little bit of dusting, but I don't see any flakes. But I don't see any flakes in my hair. So that is good. So far, so good. I do feel like I will get a lot of days out of this wash and go. So guys, I think I like this combination. I think I like this combination. Of course, I like the custard by itself. It does give me definition by itself for um, a custard and it gives me hold and I can get multiple days with this alone. But this on top just solidifies the longevity of the wash and go in my opinion. And um, like I said, it is not real hard um, or crunchy or anything, but there is a hold. I do feel like it gives a little bit more moisture. It does seem like it is more moisturizing than the other eco gels. So. We'll see, but again, I am right from under the dryer, so I'll know more on day two, day three, or whatever. Of course, at the time that I edit, I will put a blurb here as far as how long it lasted, whether it was still moisturized, whether I got any flaking, all of that information that you guys usually want to know. But right now, day one, from underneath the dryer, I like this combo. Um, my hair looks healthy. It is not overly shiny, but it does look healthy. It doesn't look dull. Uh, and dried out my curls are clumped so I like it there is I mean right now I can't really say anything negative about this wash and go so person that suggested this wash and go was Grace Vanellis I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that uh, name correctly or not if I butchered it apologize I apologize I'm so sorry but I'm gonna put it on the screen so let's shout uh, give a shout out to Grace Vanellis I think is what it is and um, 
yeah she suggested this and i think it is a good wash and go if you guys haven't tried this pairing you may want to give it a try i know a lot of you have um asked you know what i use the obia custard with what leave-ins and things of that sort i've answered those questions but if you want a little bit more hold um hey try these two together and see how you like it you may be able to this is this can be a little um expensive you have to order it and things of that sort so it could be that this using these two together it will allow you to use less of this and more of this since this is a little bit more affordable i think but again i had to find it on amazon so i'm not sure what stores sell this if any of you guys use this you know what stores sell it leave it in the comment section below so everyone else will know where they can pick it up at a reasonable price but yeah that is a good combination so give a shout out to Grace and hopefully you guys will try this wash and go and let me know in the comment section what you think about it, how you think it looks, if you think you'll try it. And yeah, that is it. So you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you won't miss another video. And until next time, thanks for watching guys. Bye.